This is Flipping 101. There he uh, is. Yeah, there he is, man. <laughs> it's been 15 been? years. 15 come on, years, come on. man. Thank What's up, man? What's up, brother? How you doing, time. man? I know. I like that time, man. So how much did you guys uh, pay for the house? So we paid 465 for the house, four bedroom, two baths, and it's 1,200 square feet. Comps in this neighborhood are around 550 to 600, so it is tight, but I think you're in the ballpark. You know what? It, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, huh? Well, I mean, you should see what I was standing in yesterday. Yeah. How much money did you guys have to spend to fix up the house? 40,000. 40K. You must yeah. be really skilled at doing construction or you're <laughs> crazy. What would you guys do in here? Well, he starts just demoing everything and there's no plan and then not in, until well, we start. Sometimes no plan is the best plan. Think about it. You knock down everything. You start from scratch. So now you're seeing an open layout. Maybe but a then you might, you're going to knock down more than you need to. And then you're going to so, start well, making. So what do you think? Okay. <laughs> what I think is the guys are bickering way too much. And that's going to be hard to fix. But the kitchen, that's going to be easy. If it was my house, I'd get rid of that wall. Yeah. So this would all be open. I'd cut this back right here to here. So you just walk in, feel like, like a that. normal house. This is actually a good room right here. Yes. As far as the, the, the paneling on these walls, I'm, I'm thinking we give them a good sanding and we just repaint them. What do you think about that? Oh, <laughs> no, no. no. Yeah. You, oh, see no. no? you see what no, I work no, with? No. No, and he's no. serious. Take okay. quarter inch drywall uh -huh. and just right put it right on top. Uh -huh. No one will ever know it's that. Okay, exactly. that could work. Bedroom number one. You know what? It's like, it's in pretty decent shape. I'm actually shocked. And then, oh, we have a Jack and Jill. Oh, I spoke too soon. This is nice and gross. Tiny shower. What's, What's back there? I believe that's the closet. Is it? I would close off this door over there and I would make this the private master bathroom. Okay. Private master. okay. I would turn this much of the closet into the shower. So you have a full size bathroom. Yeah. Shrink this closet down a little bit, and look, you still have a closet. Really good that idea. Would work. And it, it's pretty, it continues the same with the same layout throughout the whole house. I think the house is good. I think it's functional. I think mm -hmm. it has a lot of potential. So I can tell then, you right now, for uh -huh. me to do this house, it would uh -huh. probably cost me about 70000 I mean, I don't know how you guys are going to get it done for 40000 We're going to so. do all the hard work ourselves. The good news is you mm -hmm. have a really big garage. Okay. But I don't know if you saw this. This does not belong here. This beam is holding the support beam, which is very scary because when you're talking structural or you're talking safety and you're talking expense. Yeah, that's right. Now we have to talk about the fun stuff, the numbers. So let's just assume that from today to closing escrow with the new buyer is 90 days. Yes. Paid 465,000 for the house. Putting 40,000 into it puts you at 505,000. Mm -hmm. Do you have any carrying costs? Uh, we do, we got a hard cash money loan, which is three, we're paying interest only is 3,000 a month. 9,000 in carrying costs, That's so now you have 514,000. Who's gonna sell the house for you? Our wives Our are. Our wives are. Oh, they're yeah. realtors. Oh, there you go. So you're yeah. gonna save a lot of money there. So yes. based on the commission, saving and anything, everything. So what is that running, about 20,000? That yeah. sounds about right, yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. the break even is gonna be 534,000. Mm -hmm. And what did you think you're gonna sell for? 590. So if you sold for 590, you're gonna make $56,000. I mean, divide that by two, and that's a ton of work for little money. The yeah. key though, is to make $56,000 a flip, mm -hmm. but do two, three, four a month. So let's Challenge do it. accepted, man. Let's do it, cool. man. Right. Let's go to work. Let's see. There's oh, your problem right there. Look at that. Looks like we got some termite. Oh, termite. I've never seen it, it that bad. It is completely gone. Look at oh, that. Man. Uh, wow. What they did, instead of taking care of the termite problem, they left the termite problem. They added a piece of wood. That is not how you fix the problem. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, the termite damage was all over the house. We had to reframe bathrooms. We, we had to reframe every single frame for the windows. So now there's more work to be done. We've reached a little bump in the road with deciding what tile to put on the backsplash for the kitchen. What, yes. what are you guys thinking? Let's look at this. Uh, I'm leaning towards this one. And I'm going for this one. 
This one's, they will save money with this one though. The reason I don't want to put this is everyone's using this tile. Everywhere, every house you go, you're going to get the same tile. And I think it's just repetitive. People just go, why are everyone using the same tile? If this is what people like, we should we should uh, make this make this house according to people like, not what you like. That, that, so well, more people like this tile. That's, to get this that's tile. the bad thing. We're yeah. trying to set a trend saying, hey, you know what, get off we're not, of this and go. No, no, we're I not. Am. I'm trying to do my own. I'm well, trying to I'm be trying me. to flip. I'm trying to sell houses. Well, it's, this what? is going to sell faster this, than this. This could cost more money. Watch your pocket, Marco. Watch your pocket. But he has he has a big ego problem. I don't have he's, a big ego problem. He's here over the highway. And this is the problem. I can't. I just can't. What's the point of having two guys stand around fighting over every single detail? It's a big waste of time, and it's the primary reason why Marco and Jesus can't grow their business. I mean, literally, these guys fight about everything. And you can't decide on anything. We're in the business to make money. I think I just walked into a sauna. I hate nice. the material. I'm thinking about taking it out. It's costing them money, and I have to put a stop to it. If you guys want to grow a business, you have to get along. Right. So here's what I'm thinking. You have a construction background. That's right. You have a real estate background. True. So why don't we split it up a little bit to we'll do a 51-49 rule. Hey, Suze, mm -hmm. you're the real estate guy. I so know. you get to make 51% of the decisions when it comes to real estate. That means okay. finding the properties, which properties you want to actually buy when it comes to selling. Okay. Marco, you have like construction that. background. So when it comes to the designing, I'd like to give that to you. And you have 51% over your brother. You still have to hear each other out because you still might have good ideas. But the yeah. ultimate say goes with the person that owns the 51% in that category. I think that's a great idea. Shake off. Yeah. I don't Shake believe you yeah. too. Right. Are your fingers crossed? I love it. it. <laughs> With Jesus out of the way, Marco can focus on finishing this flip as fast as possible. And with his focus on construction and not bickering with his brother, Marco's been able to complete this entire rehab in just five weeks, which is actually incredible. What's also amazing is that Jesus' wife runs a staging company and Marco's wife is a real estate agent. So they're able to save a ton of money getting this house ready to put on the market. So list price time, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you paid 465 for the house. And how much was the total construction? A little under 38,000. That is just incredible. You guys did this thing for under $40,000. So let's just say, we'll call it 40,000. That puts us at 505,000. You had 6,000 in carry costs? Yes, for the right. right, yeah. So that puts us at 511,000. And what is the commission gonna be when you sell it? With about $12,600 around there. Yeah. So we were at 511 plus 12,000 is 523. So your break even is $523,000. That is very, very, very impressive. What do you guys want to list for? There's another flip actually, right down the street. That one's going for 550. The work doesn't compare to their work. So I'm thinking listing it at 580. I think 580 is good. And I think you guys are gonna get a whole bunch of activity. It's be a good day. To find out what buyers really think, I've set up cameras in every room so the brothers and I can watch the open house from my mobile office. Look at someone's coming in. Hi, right, man. Let's see this. Hi, welcome. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Hello. Hi, Lily. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. This is nice, huh? Like the open space. I like it. This was actually custom built. It's uh, an electric fireplace. It's beautiful. There's a lot of natural light in here, too. I yes. Definitely so. like that. It's a beautiful, beautiful kitchen. Is this my here? No, it's actually quartz, which is very durable. Yeah, nice. Notice she likes it a lot. You can tell she likes it because she's touching everything. That's always a sign. They start touching things, they want it. Look hey. at this backlash. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Nice. Yeah, see, he didn't he touch it. Wow. It's really nice. Wow, that's a pretty bathroom, huh? That's really exciting. You take a lot of baths in their bubble baths? Yeah. Is this a master? Yeah. Oh, okay. I love the shower. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. There you go. They love that tile. They love that tile, huh? I like this closet space, although I do wish it was a little bigger. All right, the backyard. This is the big one. Oh my goodness. This is it's nice. Huge. Yeah. Show me where you want to put your slide at and your swings. Over there?
I don't know about the noise, the traffic noise, though. This is gorgeous. This pergola oh, is amazing. They, they did a great job. This is an overall really nice house. Keep me in mind when my offer comes through. You got it. Thank, Thank you, you so much, so for, much for taking by. the time. I think that was the end of the open house, boys. I think people love the house. People, people did love the house, and I think you guys can manage 20 projects at a time. Great. Really? Wow. I really do. You just got to take every single thing you know, and then you start sharing the knowledge with other people and start hiring people, and you start expanding, and that's how you're going to grow a real business. Appreciate yeah. it, man. So, yeah. it the love's always going to be there, Tari. Thank you so much. Two weeks after listing, the brothers closed with a sale price of $590, $10,000 above asking.